I'm Gabriel, and this is Black Horse Comics Weekly Review, episode, I lost count, maybe nine, I believe it's nine. Can you tell me what it is? It's nine. All right, so this week we're going to go over the, uh, a few of the comics that came out this week, and then we're going to talk about next week's upcoming comics, and then we're going to talk about some news that happened this week. So let's get started. This week's comics, we're going to start off with Disciples. Number three. If you've been reading this, it's a pretty cool comic. Um, it's a little off the wall. There's a sci-fi comic. They're in outer space right now. Right now they're focusing on the last two survivors on the spaceship. They were called to a distressed planet. And they were called by a young lady and an older gentleman. And so they're going to find them too. And as these two last survivors on the ship that so many things went wrong. People have died. People have went missing on the ship to get to this planet. And once they initially got, once they got to the planet, more people died, so all we have left are these two survivors of this rescue team to find this man and this woman. And they get there, and they get separated. And they find a lot of uh, blood. And they find a mass amount of graves. They don't know how the graves got there. They don't know if the old lady, and, or the young lady and the old man did it. They don't know what's going on. Uh, it's, a, it's a lady and a gentleman that are left on the surviving team to go rescue the young lady and the old man. And they get separated, and the man finds ghosts that are trying to eat him up, shall we say. And they get to him. Rather sad. So now we have one survivor from this away team to go rescue this old man and this old lady. And that ends right there on uh, issue three. So we've got to see what happens on issue four. The, the girl finds the young girl and the old man. She didn't find her partner. So now we find out what happens in issue number four. So something to look forward to. Next one, another sci-fi comic, Southern Cross. This is a really great comic put out by Image Comics. This one's about this girl named Alex. She's trying to find her sister Amber's body. Her sister Amber worked for this company called Amy, Teamy, something like that. They work on the planet, on the moon Titan. And on Titan, they mine it and they get precious metals. And so her sister died there mysteriously. And so she's going to collect her sister's remains and her sister's belongings. And she's on the ship called Southern Cross. And on the ship called Southern Cross, they have a new hyperdrive that they're, test, uh, they're testing on this ship. And um, the hyperdrive initially in the, first four, in the first two issues, it speaks to Alex. And Alex is trying to find her sister. While she's on the ship, people go missing. Her bunk roommate uh, goes missing. And... Uh, she finds out there's a creepy doctor, there's a creepy drug dealer, and she finds out there's a whole bunch of people that are on the ship that are involved in nefarious dealings, uh, one of them being one of the head people that works under the captain. She is a transporter for illegal goods, and so she's using the ship to transport illegal goods. There's a, a company of villains that found that there's a precious rock that's on Titan, and they're trying to transfer it back to Earth. And so they're using that ship and using that young lady to transfer that. And what they're finding out is it's all connected somehow to that warp drive. That warp drive is part of the special rocks that are found. And it creates like a parallel universe. It, it sucks people in. And towards the end of the issue, they turn off the ship and everyone kind of loses their zero gravity. And the, Alex goes into the warp drive. And inside, she sees her sister Amber. She comes back out just in time. Her sister Amber tells her, look out behind you. And she gets back out and sees her friend get killed by the crazy Dr. Loon. So, oh, that's the end of issue five. What's going to happen in issue six? I don't know. you got to wait another month to find out. It's a good issue. It's a good series. They're only at issue five. Pick it up. It's a really cool series. Next up, Harley Quinn number 20. Um, this picks up right after a Harley Quinn special road trip issue. Harley Quinn does that every so often. She has special uh, spin-off issues, such as a road trip. Uh, last one was a convention. Uh, Harley, Harley does a Comic-Con. And there was a Harley does Valentine's and Harley Christmas special. She does her own little specials. And last one she had was a uh, road trip special that came out last week. So this one kind of picks up from there. She is actually going to Las Vegas or she's leaving Las Vegas, and she's looking for a girl. This mom, who was working at the same um, old people home that uh, one of Harley's friends was working at, or one of Harley's friends was a patient of, this uh, nurse was working there, this mom, and she told Harley Quinn, look, my daughter's missing, I need you to go find my daughter. So Harley Quinn goes to find the daughter, 
finds the daughter. The daughter's trying to get money somehow from the mom. She's trying to milk her, saying, oh, I'm kidnapped, and trying to steal money. Uh, Harley Quinn meets this cool guy named the Cowboy in this issue, and I really liked him. And then at the very end, Deadshot shows up and dispatches of the Cowboy. So sad. I was really looking forward to seeing that character progress. He was a cool guy. Maybe he'll live. I hope he lives. And that's Harley Quinn issue number 20. All right, next one. This is a cool one. Voltron from the Ashes, written by Colin Bunn. I don't know if you Colin Bunn is, but he's done a number of things. He's currently doing Harrow County, which I love. This is uh, also written by him. This kind of takes up the place where, if you read it, it kind of gives you the beginning place where uh, Voltron's fighting their last battle, and they've destroyed the, uh, the witch lady who creates the other monsters, and she's floating in space, and she's found. And some scavengers find her, and they open up her sarcophagus, and she wakes up. And that's where it leaves off. So it's just a big cliffhanger, intro, origin type deals what this comic is. Um, really, there's not more to it besides that. It's good. It's Colin Bunn. I know it's not going to be bad. It brings you back to the, to the Voltron days. If you grew up in the early 80s and I did watching Voltron on, on TV, you're going to love this comic. Okay, so get that. It's Voltron from the Ashes, issue number one. Just came out. Next up, Secret Six number six. I talked about this um, last time when we were, a month ago, we were discussing this. Um, Secret Six number five. So this picks up where Ralph Denby brought all of the, the villains to the Riddler and he finds Sue and he gets Sue and they end up helping Ralph, the, all the villains end up helping Ralph Denby to realize that Sue has amnesia and she doesn't remember who Ralph Denby is at all. And if you know the history of Ralph Denby and Sue Denby, that's pretty painful because they had a serious connection. They are one of the few DC characters that after they died, they became ghosts and still worked together because their love was, their marriage was kind of like the way Mary Jane's and Peter Parker was of Marvel. They had that strong marriage, so strong that Mephisto wanted it. Theirs was so strong that DC had to kill it. Okay, so Secret Six, number six. It's a good issue. It picks up with them uh, all together fighting the Riddler, saying, you know what, we're a team and we're going to do this together. And it's really good. It's a really good team building issue, kind of leaving off the story arc with the Riddler. They're going to be a whole new story arc after that. So it, it's, it's really good. So pick it up. Next up, All New Hawkeye, issue number five. Now this is going to be the end of the All New Hawkeye series until it starts over again once Marvel is done with their Secret Wars debacle here. Um, so we're going to pick up with Old Man Hawkeye after that. So this is the end with Kate Bishop and uh, Young Man Hawkeye with Clint Barton as a young man. And if you've been reading this, you saw that in the last issue, uh, Kate and Clint picked up these three kids that were weapons that, Hy that uh, Hydra had. And so they're taking the kids away, trying to keep them safe from S.H.I.E.L.D. and from Hydra. And it turns out that the kids are, they're weapons. They really are, and they kill people and they do bad things. And so at the very end, it's, it's kind of a montage of going back between Clint being a villain. If you know um, Hawkeye's backstory, Hawkeye was a thief. He wasn't a good guy. He didn't start off as a good guy. He was a bad guy. And he became a good guy. And it kind of gives you that backstory why he did that, why he made those choices and how he made that choice to say, you know what, Kate, we have to give those kids back to somebody. And they gave them back to Hydra. And so at the very end, the last panel, it shows old man Clint and Kate and, uh, coming up to old man Clint's door and saying, we did something wrong. We have to save them. We have to go get the kids. And so that's where it picks up in the upcoming issue of uh, old man Clint, which will be out in a couple of months. Thanks, Marvel. And so... Our last uh, issue for this week is going to be our kids issue from Action Labs Awake. Action Labs are, are the team responsible for uh, Hero Cats, which is a really cool series. You check that one out. It's a story about cats that are heroes. Um, this one has kind of an avatar feeling to it. See, there's Momo and there's Appa and there's the avatar. Okay, but it's a cool comic. Um, it's about this young girl who um, is sent to this planet from out of nowhere to save this planet. She has a connection with the planet. She can feel the planet's core and knows that destruction or despair is coming to the planet. And so she's going to go awaken the core to help it. And she finally gets to the core, her and her Momo and Appa get to the core. 
and they see that the core is already awake and it's been awake and it's been trapped and alone. So that's where that leads off. It's a good comic. I'm looking forward to seeing where it goes. I love Action Lab. We used to live in Georgia. We, we, we met the gentleman that, that uh, started up. They're really great people. They have great comics. So we're looking forward to see where Awake goes. And that's going to conclude this week's comics. There's a number of great comics that came out this week. I just can't go over all of them with you, such as Captain America White. A good comic. You should read that. It's a good origin story for Cap and Bucky. Pick it up. All right. So let's go over next week's comic. What's coming out? We're going to have 1872 number three. If you remember what we talked about last time, how that actually did make me cry. One lonely tear here. Um, they killed Captain America and threw his body to the pigs. Um, so that's 1872 number three is going to be coming out. We're going to see where that one goes. Adventure Time number 44. Why am I talking about Adventure Time? Because I'm probably going to talk about it next week. It's going to be Peppermint Butler doing a mission on his own. If you watch the cartoon show, you know that Peppermint Butler isn't just a butler. He's actually a secret agent for this whole secret organization. So he's going to be doing something in Adventure Time issue number 44. Batgirl number 44 is coming out. Batman 66 number 27. Book of Death number three. That's from Valiant, uh, Valiant Comics. It's kind of wrapping up the uh, Book of Death series with the Geomancer and uh, the Eternal Warrior. So I'm really looking forward to see when, where this one's going. Uh, Captain Marvel and the Carol Corpse number four. Civil War number four is coming out. Deadpool versus Thanos number two. And that was a really cool comic. Number one was, was good. We're looking to see where number two goes with it. Uh, Deathstroke number 10. Doctor Who, The Four Doctors, number five. This is going to conclude that short run series. It was a weekly series. They came out every, uh, every week for the past five weeks. Next week will be the fifth week, and it'll be the final issue for that series. Your comic shops will still have all four. If not, Black Force Comic has them. Um, Donald Duck, number five. Fight Club 2, number five. I don't know if you're reading Fight Club. You should be, period. Uh, Fury Shield, and this is going to go along with all the uh, anniversary, 50th anniversary of Shield stuff. This was going to be all about Fury, so check that one out. Gotham by Midnight, number nine. Grayson, number 12. Harley Quinn and Power Girl, number four. That was a four of six, so we're almost done with that one. He-Man and the Eternity War, number 10. I don't know if you're a He-Man fan, but this has been absolutely amazing. You should really check this one out. He-Man and the Eternity War. The uh, graphic novel volume one is already available if you want to read a whole bunch together at one time. Hellboy in Hell, number eight. Ninth generation, number five. Justice League 3001, number four. If you're not familiar with Justice League 3001, it's set in the very far future. As a matter of fact, the year 3001. And it has um, recreated superheroes. They used uh, some DNA and created the old Justice League. All right, so check it out if you want to know more about it. Kanan number six, Power Up number three, and that's a three of six. And that will conclude what's coming out next week that's worth saying. I don't know, there might be some good stuff. I don't know yet. We'll find out. All right, so that concludes next week's comics. Now we're going to talk about some news that came out this week that was just announced. A lot of it was just announced in the past couple of days. Uh, first off, which being Rupert Wyatt, uh, the director of Rise of the Planet of the Apes, as well as his most recent one was The Gambler with Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. Well, not the Funky Bunch, it was just Marky Mark. Um, he made the, he directed The Gambler. He, the, the Gambler, yes. He directed The Gambler, and he was uh, slated to direct Gambit, but is now walking away from the feature film. So, if there's a director in need, I'm just saying... I can try it. I've never directed a movie before, but I'd be willing to try. First order is getting rid of our lead actor. Who's with me? Okay. Uh, second thing, Greg Berlanti, he's the guy that's in charge of Arrow and Flash, the WB series. He is going to be, this is, this is brand new news, um, Booster Gold and Blue Beetle, a feature film. I'm excited about that. I love the whole buddy cop dynamic. Booster Gold and Blue Beetle are the buddy cops. So, um, yeah, I'm excited about that. It's a movie that Greg Berlanti is going to be working on, and that just came out. Um, also, this is pretty cool. If you live in Florida or you plan on going to Disney World anytime soon, September 22nd, Disney's going to be opening an Indiana Jones-themed bar. 
You heard that right. An Indiana Jones themed bar in Disney World. I've never been to Disney World. If anybody would like to take me, I'd be willing to go. I'll pick up the tab at the bar. If you pay for the trip and everything else, the lodging and everything. Okay, and the meals. All right, and last but not least, October 23rd. I just saw the most recent preview for this for the last, wit the last witch hunter. Last witch, does that, am I saying that right? Last. last witch hunter with Ben Diesel. If you haven't seen the previews yet, check it out. If you, li if you like the, uh, that style of uh, fiction, it, it's great. It's like the D&D style. The, uh, oh my gosh, I'm going to lost a word for that. What is it called? You know, with the gnomes and the elves and the stuff like that. That's what kind of movie it's set in. But it uh, takes up Vin Diesel. He's a witch hunter. He's an immortal cursed by the witch that he killed. He's been living all this time up into present day hunting witches and working with churches to do that. So that's a really cool series, a really cool movie that's coming out October 23rd. So if you haven't seen that, check out the preview. And I think that's going to conclude for today. Um, thanks for watching. Leave some comments below what you want to talk about, what you want to hear us talk about, what you're reading. Let us know. All right. And if you are not doing nothing this weekend of the 29th or the 20th and the 19th in San Antonio, they're having Mission City HeroCon. Uh, Black Force Comics is going to be there both days, 19th and 20th. Come out and see us. Say hi, buy something, take some pictures. Yeah. All right. We'll see y'all later.